So this uh, video is uh, an accompaniment to uh, the September issue of our uh, newsletter now called Prostopedia. Uh, and our goal now is to uh, take on controversial topics and uh, find people to argue two sides uh, of an issue. Uh, and this issue uh, has to do with, is it valuable to measure serum testosterone in patients on hormonal therapy? Uh, and Dr. Klotz uh, takes the position, yes it is, uh, and presents uh, evidence from his analysis of a clinical trial. Uh, Dr. Sussman argues the other side that there's no value uh, to its measurement. Uh, uh, I've been advocating measuring testosterone levels in men on hormonal therapy for two decades, so I'm certainly a biased <laughs> uh, in this area. Uh, but I'd like to highlight several issues that I think are key. The goal of uh, hormonal therapy is to reduce testosterone levels. Uh, and in general, in medicine, it's just a good idea to measure whether the drugs you're giving do the things that you think they should do. So to not measure it would have to require some default justification. Um, one argument I've heard is that serum testosterone doesn't necessarily reflect the concentration in the tumor or tissues. Uh, that's, I'm a clinical pharmacologist, and that's complete bullshit. Uh, testosterone is diffuses across barriers in the body with great ease. It's very fat-soluble and moves across membranes. The very fact that we can give it as a gel on your skin and maintain uh, adequate blood levels is certainly proof positive. Um, but it moves across cell membranes into, across the blood-brain barrier with great speed. Uh, and so indeed, the serum-free testosterone will reflect these concentration in every body compartment. Uh, it would take extraordinarily fast destruction in an organ for that tissue-free testosterone level in that tissue to uh, be lower than the blood free testosterone. Similarly, if a tumor is producing its own testosterone, that's going to diffuse out in, uh, across the cell into the bl bloodstream so fast that uh, they'll be essentially equal. There'll be no con increased concentration of free testosterone uh, in any tissue uh, unless you find some way to dramatically speed up in which the rate at which it's uh, pulled out of the bloodstream. Um, so that isn't valid. Second, we now know that the magnitude of testosterone deprivation is a limiting factor in hormonal therapy. We know that the cancer can adapt to very low levels of uh, uh, testosterone uh, by increasing antigen receptor expression, for example. Um, that's why abiraterone and uh, and, and zalutamide were developed, after all. Um, one of the advantages of abiraterone, zalutamide by another name, is that it reduces testosterone levels so low they can't even be measured. Um, so then there's another argument. Uh, administration of drugs like Lupron can go wrong in the clinic. Uh, and so there can be, the drug can be out of date, stored improperly, mixed improperly. Uh, uh, so how do you know whether you've effectively administered the drug? And in the years I've been measuring serum testosterone, I've had patients come to me labeled hormone refractory because their cancer was progressing after Lupron or related drugs, and indeed their testosterones were close to normal. So they were hormone resistant. And if you didn't measure serum testosterone, you'd never have any idea uh, that that was the case. Uh, so I think the evidence is very clear that if your goal is to suppress testosterone, you need to measure it. Uh, otherwise, you don't know whether the drug is working. Uh, and there's proven beyond a shadow of a doubt uh, that excess testosterone remaining can cause survival of cells that are partially hormone resistant. And as a pharmacologist, the statement that the blood levels don't reflect the tissue just doesn't make any sense. No, I can't come up with a single pharmacokinetic rationale for that. So 
But then again, I have very strong opinions in the matter. To read the newsletter and see Dr. Sussman's counterarguments uh, and, and think through for yourself what you think should be done. In any case, enjoy.